Hey everyone, this is Donnie from Standing Goats Rescue. Today, we're doing a review on a trail camera that was sent to me from my friends at Woe Sports. And uh, you can find Woe Sports on Amazon. It's a business that is linked in Amazon and they sell tons of gear. But the particular item that I have today is a trail camera that they sell. It's a model G600. And I want to show you, this is the um, what I received. This is the trail camera, the box for it. This is a really nice looking camera. And this is the, the box that it comes in. And I'll give you the details. Let me get this set up. I'm here at the property. We're in the woods. And I'm going to set it right here and share with you guys what's going on with this camera. All right. This is um, the camera. This is the box the camera comes in when you order it. And this is the Woe Sports G600 trail camera. And this is a really nice camera. And I'm going to share the details, what's in this card, the pamphlet. They sent a really nice, uh, a good, thick, very informative pamphlet here. This is the actual camera. And this is really, really a nice unit. These are the PIR, the uh, proximity sensors one there and you got two side sensors now you can turn these side sensors off you don't have to have them running you could turn them off in the menu you have a lock here on the side and yes you can put a padlock on it you can lock it up to prevent people from getting into your camera and if that's not enough security this um, you can also it has an option here to add a password to where you have to have the password to get into it at the bottom of this camera, you got a quarter 20 mount right here, and I'll show you what that's for in a minute, but it'll also mount on a tripod or a monopod for a camera that has a quarter 20 threaded camera attachment. This little hole right here is the microphone. This one is equipped with a microphone. This right here is your 12 volt for external power source, such as a solar panel. To help keep it charged um, or if you want to run a big battery pack on it so that it lasts you've got your memory card slot here for a standard memory card and then uh, the micro USB right there and the micro USB I believe is for the updates and uh, what I read in the paperwork you put your memory card in your computer you download the updates for the firmware and the memory card then you put it in here but I believe you can also do it through that plug. Your options on the menu here is turn it on to aim it or to turn it off. To adjust your settings, you put it in the aim mode. Once you get all your settings where you want them, you mount it on the tree, set it in aim, and then back up the area where you want it, um, your target zone. Back up in that target zone and then make some movements with your body or your arms. And you should see the red light flash right there to indicate that it's picked you up. Once you get it set properly, three, uh, three and a half to four and a half foot off the ground, then you set it, you move it from aim to own, and you're good to go. And it does take pictures, video, or a combination of the two. Now, this is uh, your batteries. They are in here. This eject button right here is for your battery compartment. Hit the eject button. There's your battery compartment. Then pull this fella out and it holds eight AA batteries. And I'm going to put these batteries in it here in just a, a bit. I'm going to show you what they send. This is a nice unit. I really like this. This is an adapter plate. You can screw this to a tree um, hopefully you'll use the strap it does come with a strap but you can also screw this on a pole or on your house and you can use this as a security camera it's got a quarter 20 thread that you could thread it in the bottom of the camera uh, I'll do this real quickly and just to give you an idea once you mount this together you loosen this little wing nut and you can set it whatever angle you got it mounted on the wall you know you can set this up you can loosen this one here I mean you, you can really that there's endless possibilities of what angle 
you want to set this at. You get your angle where you want it, you tighten up your wing nuts, and once you get it set, get it tied. Everything's loose, guys. I have not tightened this up. Once you tighten it up, there is no rattling. And this will screw into the bottom of your camera right here, this part. And I'm just doing this for illustration purposes only. You screw it in, you tighten up this little finger nut here, and that keeps the camera from moving. You mount it on your, on your house. It's not tight right now, so it's gonna flop around. But you can mount it on your house at whatever angle that you want that you need it as a security camera. And you don't get this with other cameras. You know, this is a bonus. I like this. I really like this, and I am definitely gonna be using this. Um, it also comes with a strap. This is what I normally use on all of my cameras. It's just a basic nylon webbing strap. It runs through your strap slots. This hole right here is to run a cable lock, like a master lock python. You can run it through here, lock it to the tree. You got your little legs here that keeps it up off the tree. So it's not laying flat against the bark and getting moisture on the back of the camera. Then you set your camera, close this up, latch it, Put you a padlock right here and then password your camera. Nobody's getting into it. They're not going to have access to steal your memory card. They're not going to be able to turn your camera off. And you're going to catch them on camera if they attempt to. This is a, a really nice, really nice camera. I am really impressed with it right now. But I'm going to put it in the field. I'm going to put the, I brought the memory card. It does not come with a memory card. Uh, this camera. I'm putting a 32 gigabyte memory card in it. I'm going to put these batteries. Now these batteries, if you're wondering, these are from Harbor Freight. It's about, uh, I think around $6 or $7 for 18 of them. But I use these in all of my game cameras except for two of them. And that's because they use a 123 battery, which is a completely different size it's a physically different battery than this. Um, one of them I have uses a coin battery. But everything else uses AA and this is what I use. Um, this camera, they do recommend that you use something like an Energizer battery, a Duracell, a name brand battery. And if you can afford it, if you'll use lithium batteries in this camera, you'll never have a problem as far as uh, any malfunctions due to improper voltage. The lithium batteries were designed for cameras and you'll get the most life out of this camera if you run lithium whether it be duracell or energizer fantastic batteries but let me get this put together and then we'll go through the menu of getting it set up and then we're going to put it on a tree all right i just put the batteries in that's eight double a batteries I got them locked in make sure your memory card and your batteries are installed in this camera before you turn it on and that is in according to the owner's manual which is right here there is two different languages i believe it's japanese and english and of course we are using the english version here but we're going to go through the the setup right quick i had to get my glasses out where i could read uh, it's a very simple camera but my memory is not uh, my memory is, not, is horrible all right your settings menu to view the camera settings menu you press the m which is this button right here and what we're going to do first is we're going to format the memory card there's your your screen and you can see what's well, showing my hand hello the little lcd screen is in color <clears throat> excuse me awesome little unit I, that screen is really clear all right now i'm going to hit the m for menu and these arrows you'll be able to go down and select what you're wanting to find on it and i'll read off what the options are in, in the menu starting with the first option is your photo resolution then you have photo series your video resolution your video length your audio recording your shot lag that is your time between shots if you set it for five seconds it'll take a uh, photograph or video every five seconds from the closing of the previous one side motion sensors which are these two sensors you can turn them on or off your sensor level 
the higher you adjust your sensitivity, it'll start picking up uh, when a cloud passes over and casts a shadow, and you'll get a false trigger. Uh, if a leaf moves, it'll trigger it. So make sure you don't have that at the highest setting. Your target recording time, your time lapse. There's your time lapse mode right there. Highlighted in blue, and now you can't see it from this distance. But time lapse, you set that, set the time you want it to take a picture every so many seconds or minutes, and you leave it on the tree and you go. And if it's within view of this camera, not the IR sensors, but the actual camera, which this thing will probably, you'd be able to see an object out, I'm sure, to 100 yards very easily. Uh, then you have a language setting. You got the time and date. The very first thing I'm doing uh, let's see, the photo stamp, we're going to memory card. There's your password protection. If you want to put a password in it, format memory card. All right, that's what I want. So I hit the OK, and it says notification. All data will be deleted, yes or no? Yes, of course, it's a brand new memory card. Let's delete it. All right, it deletes everything off the card, and it formats it. It's ready to go. Now, I am going to set the time and date on this camera. Hit the OK. OK button. Set time and date. OK. Today is the 21st of 2022. The sixth month. OK. And go to the 21st day. There we go. Okay, the time, it is in military time, which is 24-hour format. It is 348, so I'll set this to 1548. And then hit the OK button. All right, it is set. All right. Now let's hit the M, the menu button, to go back. I'm going to set a password on this thing. Password on. Okay. Set a password. Four digit password. So what should I set? I'll set my birthday on there. Which is April 28th. Zero. Four. Two. Zero. Four. Two. Eight. That's my password. It is on. All right. Hit the menu button to go back. We got time and date, language. Make sure, I'm sure it's on English. Yes, it's, it's on English. Come back. There's also a Dutch setting. I do not want time lapse. All right, time, uh, target, recording time. I'm going to, uh, I don't know if I want to, do video. I'm going to do both. So I'm going to go up, uh, let's see, sensor level. All right, it's on the middle. I'm going to leave it on the middle set, and it's low, middle, and high. Side motion sensors. Okay, they're on. Hit the menu button to go back. Shot lag. All right, it's set for five seconds between shots. I'm going to change it to... Let's do it 10 seconds for right now. Normally, I'd, I'd run mine at 20 to 30 seconds, and the options you have here is 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 1 minute, uh, 5 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes. So you got uh, 5, 10, 30 seconds, 1 minute, 5 minute, uh, 30 minute, and then an hour. So that's your intervals. Uh, once it takes a picture or a video, that shot lag, whatever you select, that's how long it'll be before it takes a follow-up picture or video. I'm setting it for 10 seconds. So we are okay on 10 seconds. All right, now let's go to audio recording. Okay, audio recording is on. Let's see, video length. We're going to 10 seconds, 
30 seconds. Let's see, 10, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. These are lengths of video it'll record. Uh, one minute, two minute. All right, so if you're doing videos on this, your options for length of video clip is 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, or two minutes. I'm going to do 20 seconds, um, which is a little long, but I, I want to run this camera, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to make sure that we get some good footage on here. Video resolution, you got 1080p or 720p, so your actual resolution for 1080 is 1920 by 1080p. Your 720 resolution, the actual settings, is 1280 by 720p. We're going to do the 1080p. Okay. All right, photo series. All right, do we take one photo per trigger, two photos per trigger, or three? I'm going to do one. Photo resolution. You got 5 megapixel, 8 megapixel, 16 megapixel, or 30 megapixel. Wow. I'm going to set it for 16. All right, this here's your mode button. Mode. Your choice of different modes on this camera. You could set it to take photos only, to take videos only, or photo and video combined. I'm going to do photo and video combined. And there's your software update right there. I did not update the software in this camera, and I'm sure I need to. Let's see what it says. Um, update. Okay, i got to have it plugged in to update it, I'm sure. All right, I'm going to run it without updating it. I know I should not do that. But I am going to. Um, there's the version that tells you what version this camera is. And it is version 1.0. And there's your selection to reset all the settings back to factory. Your serial number. Alright. Um, your serial number actually puts... Um, it numbers the camera and that number shows up on your pictures. So if you have 10 different cameras and you offload all the pictures into your computer, you can look back and you'll know which camera that picture came from. And I am going to set this one at, I'm going to just set it this one at 1,000. One, okay, 1,000. Own. Okay, go back to menu. And there's your format memory card. All right, we're good. So we hit, uh, oh, photo stamp, time stamp. Yes, I did not select that. Time and date. Okay, so I've got time and date will be on the photo stamp. Good. Hit the menu button again. It'll bring me out. All right, now it's ready to be set up, ready to go put on a tree. And this memory card, 32 gig, will hold 9,293 pictures. That's a lot. All right, we're going to turn this off. It says bye-bye on the screen. I turned it off. But there's no sound coming out of the camera, so there's nothing to scare the animals. Now we're going to take it and mount it on a tree. All right, I just mounted the camera, it's on the tree. That is such a good looking camera. I really like that. Whoa, sports. Really good. I do not have a lock uh, with me. I got one in the truck that'll fit in this to where you can lock it where nobody can steal your card. And again, as I was saying, this hole right here, you run a cable through it um, and your cable will come out this side for a cable lock. You just run that cable through there uh, Master Lock Pythons, the smaller one, the black series, not the yellow one. The black one fits these perfectly. Uh, I think it's a 3 8 cable. That's how I lock my high-end cameras because my G7 
cheap cameras don't have that on them. And this camera here, they're not very expensive. And they're really good looking cameras. All right, I'm gonna set this on aim. Woe Sports. Enter password. My password was uh, my birthday. Zero, four, two, April 28th. Okay, zero, four, two, eight. Hit the enter button. There we go. And it's unlocked. Isn't that cool? You can see me on camera. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can make that out. There's a glare on it. I really like this camera. All right, I want to get back here. I put a bait pile up right here and a hanging lick for the deer. Okay, we're going to try to get some deer on it. Camera's on the tree right there. I'm going to move a little bit, make sure it's picking me up. Yep. Sorry. Yep, it is picking me up. All right, guys. Now all we got to do to arm this camera where it's at right now, um, I move it from the aim position to the own position. And it'll start counting down, and it gives you enough time. I think it's 10 seconds to close it up and to get away from it. And once you close it up and you get away from it, you are you're set. Camera's armed right now. And it's going to be getting pictures and video of me because I'm still in the way. But that's what it looks like once you mount it on the tree. It does blend in. I've got it. It's a green camo pattern, but I have it on a brown tree. If I were to set it up, you know, in this stuff that has some leaves around it, you would never see that camera. I definitely like it. But stay with me here in just a minute. Um, it'll be about a week for me, but for you guys, it'll, it'll be pretty brief. Uh, a few seconds. Then I'll show you the, the pictures and the video that we captured on that camera. I will be moving it to different locations to catch, catch uh, different wildlife. We want to target deer, possibly bear, turkeys, wild hogs, raccoon, squirrels, birds. Uh, I want to get small game and large game both on it to see what this camera's capabilities are. Stay with me and we'll show you the results. All right, for my final thoughts on the Woe Sports G600 trail camera, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, as far as a, a good bang for your money, absolutely. That camera, I've got some cameras that are quite expensive, well over $100. And this one, you can go right now on Amazon to the Woe Sports store. And I will have a link for this camera uh, in the description below. But you can go in there right now and pick it up for, uh, I think it's $49.99 if I'm remembering correctly. But if you're going to buy one, go into the description below to this video. And there is a code in there. Copy that code down and when you go to purchase the camera. Now, it also applies to other items. The email that was sent for him, uh, to me in regards to the camera and the coupon code to get a discount applies to other products too, like pretty much everything that they sell and they have quite a bit on there it's a real nice setup uh, it knocks about five bucks off I think it comes $45 with a coupon I will absolutely be ordering one uh, I like this camera and I, I think if I can get three or four of them before hunting season starts then I'll be able to catch a lot of the stuff that my very expensive camera keeps missing I'm getting deer coming into the screen and they're moving pretty quick uh, normally during the rut when they're chasing does or uh, bucks are chasing other bucks they'll zip by the camera when the sensor detects them they're halfway out of the screen and just like what you're seeing right now on this phone screen you know as the deer is coming across you're only seeing that much of him when the camera goes off but not with this one 
this camera's got you got three sensors on it your proximity sensors and you got two that face to the sides and I set them on I tested this camera and uh, I use Harbor Freight batteries cheap batteries in it uh, they're good quality batteries they're just cheap they're inexpensive and it worked flawlessly now the memory card I used a very uh, very cheap memory card definitely not name brand uh, something you could pick up for just a couple of bucks 32 gig card and I had four pictures all the videos came out great but there were four pictures in the span of 2,700 and something pictures there were four of them that uh, it, it ended up the screen was just blacked out and I, I pushed that off as either the memory card or the batteries and cheap batteries alkaline batteries will cause a game camera a trail camera to fault so if you're having issues with your camera pictures are acting up you're just having all kind of issues with it picking up game as it comes in before you replace the camera put name brand batteries in them put lithium batteries in them and put a name brand memory card and nine times out of ten that will solve the problem with this one um, I tested the settings for the sensitivity the high low and medium and it works as advertised and I've only got I think three cameras out of all of them that I have that the different levels actually work and that's impressive uh, overall I like this camera a lot I will be buying a few more I'm gonna try to uh, I want a total of four of them when hunting season starts to monitor the area that I hunt um, but they just it, it worked flawlessly the battery is still showing is 100% uh, it doesn't give you an actual percentage it has a little bar as the battery drains it'll show you know three quarter or 75% 50% 25% and then drained and it was still on full uh, the four bars it captured some little tiny I had a uh, the way I got it set up is it takes a photograph and then it takes a video you got a photograph uh, two minutes a minute or two minutes later I don't remember the time I had it set then it would record 20 seconds of video then it'd take a photograph and then 20 seconds of video and I had a photograph and there's nothing in it and then it had the video and I watched the video and I was just about to delete it I thought it was a false trigger and I seen movement when I was at uh, the 16 or 17 second mark and it was very tiny and so uh, I couldn't tell what it was oh the next photo same thing and they're they're uh, they're happening at the interval I had it set at and it may have been a minute between photo minute between video the next set I got the photo uh, there's nothing in it I got the video I started watching it it got to about eight seconds then I seen it move again when I zoomed it in it was a very tiny mouse and it's 15 feet from the camera and that little mouse the proximity sensor detected it and it that camera worked flawless and guys I've, I've used a lot of cameras I've used some very cheap ones from Walmart I've used high-end cameras uh, I used a $349 camera one time it was not mine uh, it was on loan to me to do a review on it was uh, several years back and this little $50 camera beat them out the only thing it doesn't have that that $350 camera had is that one would send a notification to your phone to let you know you had movement in front of the camera this one doesn't offer that but if you're out in the field all the time you're monitoring your cameras you don't need that I don't I don't have that on none of my cameras um, Chris has a couple of cameras that has this the cell phone technology every all the rest of his are not they're they're regular like this one but as far as um, it, if I could recommend you guys to get this camera those of you that are in the field and you're monitoring wildlife or or whatever you're looking to catch you need a trail camera yes absolutely I definitely recommend this one 
it is a really nice camera it is an, just an incredible bargain for the price you're paying for it. the shipping to get it to me from the date he told me he would send it was really fast it comes packaged well I'll have the link for the camera and the code the discount code in the description below if you're looking to get a new camera and you're not looking to spend a lot of money check them out uh, I highly recommend it I'm not being paid for this review I am not profiting from the company for this review they sent the camera I run the test on the camera and then they'll let me know if I need to send it back or if I can keep it I would love to keep it and usually companies like that will, will allow you to keep it but he hasn't specified yet so I'm gonna assume that I, I'll have to return it I will be getting more um, I can't say enough about it for fifty dollars it is a heck of a bargain um, but after this I'm fixing to close this out didn't mean to drag it out so much but I can't say enough about that little camera I absolutely love it it is a, a very nice camera for what you're getting and it's 30 megapixel that's a $50 camera it's 30 megapixel that says a lot it's got plenty of different settings in it uh, the microphone for it for the video clips works very good it picks up I had uh, two squirrels come in they're 18 feet from the camera they're eating the corn and you can hear they're chewing on the screen when I was watching it uh, I put it on the tablet towards a little bigger where I can see and I can hear them chewing the kernels and they were 18 feet from the camera uh, it's incredible but I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna end this now and just final thoughts is absolutely worth the money do I recommend it yes I do absolutely I'd recommend it to anyone that needs a good game, uh, game camera or trail camera. Well worth the money. As soon as I close this out, keep watching. I'll be putting up clips. A lot of them, it'll be the photograph that was caught. And then the very next sequence, very next uh, clip will be a video clip. And the ones, it'll, it'll be the photo and then the video of the same thing. And I got one. I had a little buck come in right up on the camera. He got right up to it and was smelling it and checking it out. So it's, it, the picture looks really white. That's because he's so close to it, the infrared light was lighting him up and it was blinding him like putting a flashlight up to the lens on a camera. The camera sees the IR light. And so it looks like a bright light over the screen. But you'll see what it is, um, the video clip, because then he backs away from it and he's right there on the camera. But it just, it, it, this camera's amazing. I love it. But go over and check them out. Watch the video. Watch the clips following. It'll give you an idea of the quality. The night pictures, the day pictures. If you see a picture on here that looks like there's nothing in it, look closely. It may be a little tiny Tweety Bird or a little mouse. Uh, there's a red-headed woodpecker, which are very small. He's in one of them. It caught everything that went in front of it. And on the high setting, if if a grasshopper and I've got several pictures of them if they jump past the camera it'll catch them and you got them in mid-flight and they look like little fairies it's crazy y'all have a good day God bless you I love you jump over to Wove Sports on Amazon check them out they got much more than just trail cameras they got a lot of different gear but the coupon code that is below should work for everything that they sell and it'll knock you a little bit off, uh, save you a little bit of money. And every little bit helps, especially this day and age. I love you all, and we'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.